When people think of Alaska, they think of dog sleds. And today we're at Alaska Husky Adventure here in Willow, Alaska. I'm your host, Caitlin Espada, local lifestyle and real estate expert, and this is the American Dream. Well, we're here with Matthew and Liz Failer, owners of Alaskan Husky Adventures. Thank you for being here with us today. Really excited to talk about your business. So tell us a little bit about Alaskan Husky Adventures and how it came to be about. Sure, well, so we offer year-round dog sledding experiences both in the winter and the summer. And we have kind of a unique story. Um, Matthew runs the Iditarod and I used to be a news anchor and I was covering the race and Matthew was racing. And so we met that way and then from there, we decided to team up to launch um, a tour operation so others could experience the joy of dog sledding. So tell me about your personal connection with the Huskies and training them and your experience with the kennel. Well, our, our sled dogs are our family. Um, <laughs> seven months ago, you know, they basically were our children. They still are, but now we have uh, Theodore in our life here. So we work with them daily. I mean, we live here with the dogs and run them every day or play with them every day. So they're a part of our family. They're great with him too. What's your daily routine and how can visitors get involved? Yeah, so uh, when you come out to, to meet us, we're hooking up um, the sled and the dogs the same way that Matthew does when he's going out on a training run for the Iditarod. So um, we're inviting you to kind of be part of our training for the day. And um, so you get to see how we harness the dogs, how we hook them up. And then while we're out on the run, we're describing all of the things that go into a good training run and teaching you the commands. And um, when we stop, you can pet the dogs, of course. And um, there's an opportunity to drive what we call a tag sled, which is an attack sled so there are opportunities for our visitors to get a little more hands-on it's palpable and it's really something that's unique and as a as a piece of Alaskan culture and history and the integral role that uh, sled dogs have played here in Alaska it's nice to preserve that so um, people today can still experience what Alaska was like 50 100 years ago how long have you been racing so I've been racing this will be my 13th I did a rod okay wow and what is the I did a rod the Iditarod is the world's longest sled dog race. It's 1,000 miles. It takes place in Alaska, starting and finishing from Anchorage to Nome. And it's the only 1,000 mile race in the world. Oh, wow, that's incredible. How do you train for it? Well, I guess it's it's more of a, it's a 365 day commitment. Iditarod's only 10 days long, but it's a day in, day out commitment with the dog. So you're bonding with them every day. You, you know, you're, you're with them, so. How exciting. Should we go out and meet the team? Definitely. All right, let's check it out. We're just preparing for today's run. We're expecting, you know, some, a group to show up. And so we're getting the dogs ready. How long does the tour last? So we go about six miles and all the, the trails are on our private property. We've got a, a beautiful view of Denali that we kind of angle the team towards. And then it's about, a, about an hour, 45 okay. minutes to an hour, depending on the trail condition. So tell me, how'd you come up with the names for the dogs? That's some of the more, uh, it's fun to sit down with our crews. You know, we look at the personality of the litter and we kind of come up with a theme. And that way, as the dogs age, it's very um, easy to remember who's related. So. For example, this is the country legend litter. So we've got Loretta, Dolly, Reba, Willie Whalen, Merle, um, and Emmy Lou. So as they're, you know, three or four or five years old, it's really easy to remember who's, who are siblings. So it's really nice that the tourists get to come right through here. They'll walk right in the middle of the yard. They can pet all the dogs and they get to kind of experience what it's like to be in the middle of the pack. How many dogs do you take out on the race? On the Iditarod? On the Iditarod, yeah. So you're allowed to start with 16 dogs. And um, so years ago, we kind of chose 17th dog as our um, racing team name. So anyone that supports us, we kind of dub as the 17th dog because they're part of our team. Be part of the team. Well, thank you, Matthew and Liz of Alaskan Husky Adventures. And thank you for sharing your wonderful business and lifestyle with us. Well, we appreciate the time. And yeah, if you want to learn more about dogs, go dog mushing. Well, thank you for joining me on our tour of Alaskan Husky Adventures today here in Willow, Alaska. I'm your host, Caitlin Espada with American Dream TV.